Hamza Monaidi maintains a small farm with her husband in the family's village outside the city of Morogoro in the water-scarce country of Tanzania. She and her family depend on the farm for income and nutrition. Naito Monaidi Hamza, ni mkulima katika sikimu ya mkindo, pia ni mkulima mboga mboga, pia nafuga samaki, Today, a team of scientists and policymakers of the Feed the Future Innovation Lab for Small Scale Irrigation seek new water saving technologies and practices that could help farmers like Hamza to save precious water resources. We are looking at uh, defining the kinds of irrigation systems that uh, are most useful to farmers uh, in, the, in the developing world, particularly smallholder farmers. The research project is active in Tanzania, Ethiopia, and Ghana but its findings and initiatives could hold implications for the African continent at large. Researchers of the Innovation Lab are using a complex set of numerical equations to predict the viability of water-saving practices and technologies. These equations, or modeling systems, are also being used to predict many possible effects of the team's intervention. Using these, these uh, uh, modeling suites that exist here at Texas A&M to evaluate uh, the production consequences the environmental consequences and the economic consequences of the introduction of these technologies into the areas under study. Let's ask uh, the models to tell us if those are environmentally damaging or sustainable. As part of the project, in-country university scientists are being trained to use the models, which are known collectively as the Integrated Decision Support System. The hope is that African students of these modeling systems will continue seeking sustainable farming solutions for Africa at farm, watershed, and regional levels well into the future. In the end, they have to inform policy and the decision makers when they are, are confronted with uh, evidences from the field which are more generally made clear with the models, this is going to be very helpful. Partners of the Feed the Future Innovation Lab for Small Scale Irrigation include scientists of the Texas A&M University System, experts of the global CGIAR centers, and in-country universities and governmental partners. We need really to, to, to see how our people can maximize in their overall issues pertaining to food security, water security, and nutrition. I believe working with the government, I being one of the government officials, will upscale this and at the end of the day, the livelihood and the living standard of our people will really be improved. As the project moves forward, the Feed the Future Innovation Lab for Small Scale Irrigation, through a complex system of partnerships and sustainable initiatives, aims to contribute to brighter futures for farmers like Hamza Mwanaidi across the African continent. <laughs> Nne, tuweze kupata hata usafiri wa kuendesha ambao.